you said about Noah would be perfect in their generation. That would not be touched by the what? By the hollow. Where could you do that at? I looked and I said, the only religion that has so many dark restrictions on it, so many unresearched facts, not made to look like facts because nobody can search them, is Islam. But you have to grab a specific, you have to be particular about how you use it. I said, how do I create a cult that would isolate itself from everybody? You know how some people will say that, well, I lived in uh, Brooklyn all these years and I had never heard of anything happening with kids. So um, being as though you were there and we already know, like I said, the same thing was there, was attested to in the, um, the trial. But from a, another person who was there, how did things kick off to where he started to do these sorts of things? Well, let me start off by saying, um, first of all, in reference to the in Brooklyn who may have said they never heard of anything happening to kids. That's so untrue because even back then in the 80s, there were rumors circulating within the community that children were being molested, um, whether it was necessarily by York or other adults in the community or maybe even by other children was, you know, a question, you know, you almost have to kind of listen to who's telling you these stories or whatever. But um, nonetheless, there were rumors circulating around that uh molestation and rape going on back in the 80s in Brooklyn. Upstate, it's interesting that I was watching that video on how the land was set up. I visited that land only one time back in 1998 when York had um, this great celebration called the Savior, Savior's Day or whatever um, that lasted for a couple of days. Um, my family, we went down to visit the, uh, the land. I was still uh, a teenager at the time. I think I was about four, 13 or 14 years old. And um, what, in comparison to that, Jezer Abba or upstate New York was very similar in a sense that, but it was on a much, much smaller scale. Um, kids from Brooklyn and from other communities would come up there and they would, you know, be in awe of the land, you know, the free range and everything, all the grass and the, the, the playground and everything else like that. And they were, some of them were even jealous to the point where they, they would say something like, you know, you guys have a great up here. You know, you've got all this land, all this fun, all this food and everything else like that. But little did they know that although we may, to them, it seemed as though we were living in paradise or, you know, we were actually going through hell, many of us, the children and parents. And so in my, from uh, my experience, you know, I can only recall maybe about a few kids being molested, but from what I've heard, there was more than just a few. Um, like I said, it happened to me when I was seven years old back in 91. Um, I remember another young girl who it also happened to actually. And people have to understand too, it's not like you can easily just leave off the land because we were not in touch with our families because a lot, when you came into the community, a lot of people cut off ties from their family on the outside world. So they did not have access to communicate with their family and, you know, or say, hey, can you come and get me or whatever the case may be, because there were there were no ties. And um, that's what allowed like a lot of people. It's like they didn't they didn't have a choice, you know, yeah. to like because they didn't have that many options or anywhere to go. And then, you know, you didn't have a car. A lot of people didn't have an education and you didn't have money like that either. So it's like all those, you know, and he would tell people, oh, you know, your family don't care about you. You know, um, why do you think they didn't come come get you or well, they didn't come look for you? You know, mm -hmm. they don't care about you. And that's why you're still here. And, then, you know, when you're hearing these things. Obviously, if over 15 to 20 people, children were being molested, see, we I have to that? now say, how come the adults wasn't saying nothing? Shouldn't they be locked up with Dr. York too? How come they're free to testify about it? You understand the, 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 adults, the adults are separated from their children.